Well, this has been a busy day at Ogden Point in Victoria, particularly busy with no fewer than four cruise ships in port, bringing thousands of passengers and tens of thousands of dollars in tourism spending. But people in James Bay say these vessels are bringing something else, something unwanted, emissions that are polluting the air and making people in the neighborhood sick. And there's a recent air quality study that backs up their claims. The findings are being looked at right now, but the Neighborhood Association says it wants officials to clear the air immediately. The Harbor Authority's CEO, Paul Servos, boarded the Rhapsody of the Seas, one of four cruise ships to dock in Victoria today. He went on an environmental tour to see for himself the kinds of Earth-friendly initiatives on board the vessel. But for the people in James Bay, the most pressing environmental issue is not on the ship, it's in the air. We're feeling that this industry has grown and grown and grown. Uh, we're seeing that it could be having an impact on our health. The recent James Bay air quality study shows that at the height of the cruise ship season, sulfur dioxide levels are dangerously high, three times the level accepted by the World Health Organization. It's a level that can exacerbate existing respiratory problems. Cruise ships may be the biggest polluters, but people in James Bay also worry about the emissions from buses. But when you're talking about that many buses consecutively, um, it's quite unpleasant. So just how polluted polluted is the air down here at Ogden Point when all the cruise ships are in? Well, on a day like today, the author of the report suggests it's like breathing in the air on a medium pollution day in a mill town like Prince George. We want the industry and the Greater Victoria Harbour Authority, the City of Victoria and all those players to do everything they can to start mitigating some of the issues around this. The Vancouver Island Health Authority won't comment until the BC Centre for Disease Control makes its recommendations. What about the Harbour Authority? We stood within metres of Paul Servos today. We were told he couldn't comment on camera. Instead, we were offered this written statement. We are looking forward to the result of the third phase of the James Bay Air Quality Study, the Health Human Assessment Component, to determine what actions, if any, need to be taken. In March, MLA Rob Fleming argued the pollution problem could be solved with shore power. We should be joining other ports uh, like Vancouver and Seattle uh, who are going to uh, clean electricity supply and requiring that while uh, ships are in port. Then the Harbour Authority said shore power wasn't financially feasible. Now it cites new federal rules which will force cruise ships to use low sulfur fuel by 2012 and even cleaner fuel by 2015. But the James Bay Neighborhood Association says that's too long to wait to clean the air. If they can do anything at this point, we'd like them to do so immediately. In Victoria, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.